Yo, man, you have to do one, man. Bless up. That's the pomegranate. Mm -hmm. Bless, 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 bless people. Blessed. Wow, well, like this look alive here today to let y'all know. This fruit here. Don't slip on it. That's the Palmer granite. Do not slip on this. No, it's a cancer fighter. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Arthritis. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The heart. Mm hmm. This is what most I give us. Look here, nothing added into this. Natural sunlight. See that juice? How rich that look, here, yeah, like blood. Mm -hmm. Purify the blood, natural. If you could eat one of these twice a week, it's excellent. Ease off the arthritis, you know? A lot of us got joint pains. A lot of pain in the joints, arthritis. But look it up, check it out. Mm. So, when I do my workout sometimes, I got pain. Not your palmer. Palm ground. Not your. And all they do is suck on the seat. You suck on the seat. Suck on the seeds. One of the seeds went and stick in between my teeth. But seeds are rich. All right? You could take take it out. Take it out and put it in nice water, like 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 some alkaline water. Let it soak in there. No hot water in there. Just just dig it out. Take out all the white stuff. You could leave, leave that right here. You could leave that whole richness in there too. And you put it in some water. Put it in the fridge, let it soak. And then after, soak a couple of hours, you know, you could come down and just drink. Good refreshment. Strengthen you up, purify your blood, your heart, and helps for the arthritis. So, stop over at the supermarket, the Koreans, Chinese, 
and pick up one of these. Not one, seven days in a week. It's two a week, three a week. You don't need nothing. And has vital energy in it. Boost you up. No. I don't have to put nothing else. I'm just gonna do a job. Naturally. Talking all the rich nutrients from here. That took a while within the delight of nature. Mm -hmm. Don't think about it. Have lots of seeds. So it's like you're eating a candy. It's like you're eating a candy and you're just taking time to get that richness of the seed. A rich red, like a, a gel on it, extra skin. Talk that and leave the seed like this blank. Huh? Yeah, so but today, people, I like my parmesan, pomegranate, and I don't think. I can smell it there in front of y'all. But I want y'all to know this is very healthy for you, children, grandma, especially older, old elderly. Give them this. But the only problem, some might have problems that have dent dentures or whatever. So the best thing you could do for them. I have to get that, soak that into some water overnight. Take it out from here, from the skin, because the skin peels, you see? It peels the skin, see? Don't turn them. All right? You see all the richness? Look, I'm going to eat all of that. All that rich code in that for the sea. Helps to build red blood cells, you know. Uh, but these, that's why I said to you, the rich in fruit, the red it is, the, the more you can have that 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 red bloody stain look like blood, that's good for you. A lot of antioxidant, a lot of stuff in there. But this personally is for, um, like I said, uh, your heart, okay, your blood. Okay, if you have an arthritis, okay, your heart is excellent. But today, people, I'll put this aside. I'll deal with this later. And I wanted you all to know. I'm going to get it, but really and truly, I came here today. I just put out a video, made a video. What is the song? Not a video. I posted everywhere. But that I really wanted you all guys. First of all, I would like to say all praises to the most. I'll give me a minute. I will get you shut. Okay? Don't let me get you. You know me already. Behave yourself. Yes, my people. I will get you. Behave yourself. You gotta give it to him, man. Huh? You gotta let him know. It's not all the time you gotta spare the rod. If you spare the rod, you're gonna spoil the child. Sometimes you gotta let him know what's going on here. It's a time to play. There's a season for everything. This uh, palm, Parmesan, uh, maybe Parmesan, Parmesan, let's say Parmesan, Parmesan, it came in a time and it, in its season. Just like the children, there's a time and place for everything. 
And you got to allow them to know that. If you don't, they're going to embarrass you. Okay, now people, once again, I wanted to say all praises unto the Most High. And uh, I wanted to give thanks. I always give thanks. No matter what, I will never stop doing what I'm doing. And I will never stop believing in me. And I will always keep doing what I'm doing. Okay, so, you know, I'll just be me because I am me. There's no other person that could be me. But today's topic is actually from the song that I made about Russia and Ukraine. So uh, I like to watch the, uh, what's going on, what's going on. And uh, hmm. the world is going in circles. Because it does not want to realize the true problem. What creates and makes all these problems that we have is ignorant people, wicked people, red-eyed people, dirty-minded, create all of these suffering, poverty, pain, agony, and all these things we see on planet Earth is strong people, people with money, people with power, people in control, people that could make something better, but they choose to do what they're doing because it works for them. The interest is the wealth upon the human, uh, uh, not human, upon the souls of the people, the lives of the people. We like li uh, um, livestock. Behave yourself. You hear what I'm saying to you? Your mommy calling you nine, it's all right. Okay, so excuse me, guys. You know, I'm doing these videos at home. Um, some people say, oh, well, you need a little quiet, and you know, but um. I have to handle what I have to handle, and I'm not gonna run away from it. You know, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Meantime, I'm doing this, I'm gonna keep an eye on them. <laughs> Meantime, I'm keeping an eye on them, I'll do whatever it takes for me to do. That I got to do, I will do. So, yes, people, in other words, We could make a difference. People with power. People with money. People with money could make a difference. People with power. But they don't. Now, put all jokes aside, all fairy tales, all lies. That's much facts. I'm dealing with facts. Now, I don't like what Russia do or what Russia is doing to Ukraine. I don't like that. Mm -mm. That's not right. No, it's not. But I guarantee you, There are people who see, seeing it, okay, it's okay. There are other countries and other leaders of the world that think it's okay. But just like the majority of the world see it's wrong, the majority of the nations of the earth see what Russia is doing is wrong. They might have a few guys backing them up. But the fact is on the majority of scale outweigh the good outweigh the bad. Now, no one does not like what's happening to Ukraine. Everybody's saying, well, that's wrong. And they should um, pull war crimes against put uh, put um, put put them. Put them. They should uh, have war crimes because he violates certain um, rules and regulations. And um, he should be held accountable for that. 
And now we are watching in Ukraine itself that Ukraine didn't ask for that, but Ukraine also know throughout the months or the past year or past months, he knew something was not right. Okay? But like I said, I does not hold Ukraine to say Ukraine is wrong. I think Ukraine is a hundred percent right for believing in what they believe and defending their turf by any means necessary. What I does not overstand in Ukraine is why is it that the citizens of Ukraine and the people that occupy or live in Ukraine, now there are people from all over the world, there are people that from Africa, from India, from all over, but uh, that went to Ukraine maybe for college, maybe for, um, you know, to further their education. And they are blacks. And they didn't, they didn't ask for this to happen in Ukraine, but it happens. So if they give them green doors where they could go, um, say, Russia, Mother Russia is saying, okay, I want to look like a good guy. I want to do what's right. And, and you know, first I'm going to allow certain people to leave. And who wants to come to Russia who comes to Russia? And who wants to go to uh, Poland or wherever they want to go, they could go. They give the green door so they can pass and back the door. But why is it that in the mass of the people that is looking to move from one point to the next, the blacks that's there, the blacks, the copper skinned people that was within the uh, um, Ukrainians, and they are looking to go to Poland and different places. Why when these blacks, the Ukrainians, are beating them up? The Ukrainians are beating them up. I watched a video today where there was like probably three blacks and a bunch of Ukrainians, and they 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 kick them up, they beat them up, they 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 treat them, and that is going on all over Ukraine, and even out from the outskirts of Ukraine, like in Poland, and uh, Poland will say, oh oh y'all can't come in here. The neighborhood uh, countries that is here to taking these people that is running from this massive, you know murdering and all bombings and all that. And these people trying to get their family safe. You say they could go, but when 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 they're looking to go, they all are people. They all are people with uh with a heart, with a soul. Uh, you know, they all breathe oxygen, like you all call them. We are human beings, right? We are all. So why is it that if we all go through the same thing, why the copper skin? The copper skin people have to be the ones that cannot go over there. Has to go. I mean, the man that he, he's rich, God allow him to escape with his life, rich to another place safely. And then when he reached his dear, you says to him, "No, you gotta go back because we we're not gonna accept you. Oh, you can't come here because of the color of your skin." So even in the midst of all of this war, even in the midst of all of this uh, strategy that's going on, even in the midst of all of this, you know, people are losing their family and members dismantling their family, people are dying, whole families are dying. You know, in a time like this, in a great disaster like that, like this is like the third world war about to happen. And people still got time to discriminate. People still got time to say you are black or you are Brown, you are dark. You can't come here. Now it's the same way. Look, look what Russia is doing to the Ukrainians. You know, everybody's saying it's wrong, and the Ukrainians want help. They they want aid. They want support because they will not tolerate Mother Russia to to to, to do them like that. But why are y'all doing us like that? Why are y'all doing the copper skin color like that? Huh? Why are you all doing us like that? I mean, these people are trying to save their lives, their skin, man. They all are coming. All colors of people are coming. Indian, Chinese, everybody's coming. But the copper skin has to go 
Go for the hardest hardship. Get the hardest fight. So you could see within the world, the people who occupy these different nations, a lot of them are hypocrites. Because in a dreadful time like that, when you should not be worrying of a man's skin, you should not be worrying of a man's complexion or his nationality. People are dying. This man is throwing bones down on you like rain. He don't care who we kill. He got Russians that are living there, okay, that born in, 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 um, in um, Ukraine, and they live in the and he's throwing bombs. You got to watch that, the savagery. You got to watch where Mother Russia turns her guns and violate the rules and principles of war that you should not fire on civilian, civilians. You should not. You should not blow the houses down. The civilians are not in war with you. You're in war with the army or whoever. You're looking for people that's in, 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 um, in, 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 in uniforms that wants to fight. That, that You don't blow buildings up where innocent people is trying to hide away from what's going on. And when you see things are not going the way you're supposed to, you just shell them out. It's a wicked-hearted individual demonic to do such thing because that's not the way war fight. Now we know there has casualties in war, but when you deliberately, deliberately targeting civilians, when you deliberately creating effects onto the people, I'm not talking about the army, not the soldiers, the people, old people, young people, young people, babies, you're killing them, flatten out the buildings. But right in the hearts of Ukraine, through all what they are going through at this present moment when it's so dreadful and hectic upon them, they still got time to pick upon the copper skin, to kick him, beat him, knock him down to the ground, kick his head off. You should not do, you should have that strength to kick the people that is trying to invade your country. Not the copper skin man. The copper skin man didn't attack your home. He didn't drop bombs on Ukraine. These people that's over there, that's like you living in Ukraine and coming to Brooklyn. Would you like the people, the black skin, the copper skin people that live in, in Brooklyn to do that to you? Would you? And all the countries are playing the same part. In the time of the COVID, excuse me, in the time of the ha ha ha, right there in China, the Chinese turn around onto the copper skin people, throw them out of the hotels, throw them out of, out of the buildings, landlords throw them out, beat them up, murder them, onto the copper skin people. Just recently, I am watching a young man. Murdered two people at Injury Tree and he got away Scotch Tree. Scotch Free. Okay? Every country plays a part of hypocrisy when it comes to the copper skin people. Like, definitely we know they do not like us. Because you're going to tell me in a time like that. When Russia is dropping bombs and bombs on top of Ukraine, and the people of Ukraine have time to look at the copper skin guy and jump him and beat him up, why you don't give thanks that the copper skin man is here could observe what's going on taking place with you? But you ain't got no, you ain't got that to go take it to the army. Why didn't you, y'all young Ukrainians that was beating up the street black man or that family? Why are you going to take up arms for Ukraine? You should have your um, suits and your guns and your AR-15s and your AK-47s and getting ready to go defend Ukraine. Why are you beating the copper skin people? Why are you always doing us wrong? Why are you always 
spitting in our face. Why is it that you're always torturing us? And the moment we react, we are racist. The moment we react, we are racist. Man, the whole world is taking advantage upon us, man. Because you will not believe in Ukraine right now that, you know, people will think about being racist right now. And there's no such time to be racist. They should never have that such thing as race, cis. I see everybody got different color cars. You like the color that you like. You paint your house the color that you like. No one can come tell you don't paint your house pink if you want pink or if you want red or white, whatever you want, you want. That's what you want. You have that ability and that choice, preference to do that. So I don't always, why the world, man? The world don't like us and it's about time we as a nation of people realize that. They don't like us. Now, the majority, I would not say all, oh, but I could see by their works, I know them. I see what they do because I'm telling you, if, if there's war right now, say war break out in the US, you think I have time to start beef with, 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 with a brother or a sister when there's, there's a, a person trying to invade my turf? I, I, I'm looking to kill people here and these people that are coming over here really come to eradicate me and I don't have the guts to say, okay, let me go and, 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 and join these people that is willing to fight to the death to protect us. It's what we gonna do. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna wanna turn around and go kill my neighbor. Cause I don't like my neighbor. I'm gonna kill my neighbor. Oh, I, 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 you know, that's nonsense. And that's what's happening in Ukraine. Because these guys that are beating the copper skin people, they are Ukrainians. And if they have a heart, man, they will say, you know what? We shouldn't do that. Because that's the same thing Mother Russia wants to do to us. So you don't like what Russia gonna do, what Russia wants. Russia telling you. Russia been tricking y'all. Y'all gave all your arms to Russia. And hold a treaty that Russia would never want to kick y'all in the butt. Ha uh ha, -huh, yeah, right. And you thought you was going to get your independence and you was going to hold it down on your own. And you would talk to whoever you want and do whatever you want. But you didn't know that big man, Mama Russia, you got eyes on you from morning. She been looking at you and she wants what you got. And if you're not going to play her rules, she's going to force it on you. Now, it's the same thing you're doing to the copper skin people. We ain't do nothing to y'all. But why are you taking this bandana with us? Why are we are over there and you're kicking our butts? You're kicking our heads off. You're punching us, knocking us down to the ground. That's the time. So all of these countries, majority of these countries of European descent, a lot of them are teaching their children racist. Because you will never believe that in a time like this, that this group of people will walk around and look for blacks to want to beat them up. You will never believe that. You will believe that's the time you want to stand as one to protect what you got. Because I know there's black Ukrainians, even though majority of them are, 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 are looking like the people are fighting their own self. They're different from the Germans. They, they look alike. They're related. They're bloodline. But, but, but they, they have what's going on. And again, like I said, I don't accept what Russia is doing. I don't. Now, as the world is looking at Russia, and then the Russian know you violated. You're looking to try to start that third, the Third World War, World War III. No, you know it's the black star people. Go ahead and smash the like button and share this video. Share this live. Go to my new channel, which is Red, Red Bus of Sweat TV, and be a subscriber. Be a, a subscriber on the Red Chat Black Star. And go to my uh my GoFundMe, Red's Community. 
Rex community, um, hold on, I always got to follow this. What is this again? Rex community? Rex community help. Yeah, Rex community health fitness center. So you can go to my page and send a donation. Red Community Health, Health Fitness Center. Red Community Health Fitness Center. Don't go to my um, to my GoFundMe and you could uh, send me a donation to help the cause. Okay? And then you could go on Teespring and get my merch. And if you like you can email me redshine1967 at gmail.com. Redshine1967 at gmail.com to get the merch in the house and to get your life in a bottle. Lunch in a bottle. Life in a bottle. So, yes, people, I want to show you how nice the Parmesan, Parmesan is. So, yeah. So, the world does not like us. Why is it that we've been persecuted all over the world? Hmm? What is it that we have done to the world, to the worlds, or to the nations of the world that they hate us without a cause? Hmm? What is it? Now I'm saying they're not racist, but in war, in war we see clearly they don't like it. Because like I'm sitting at home and I'm saying, I don't like what Russia do. That move. No, people. That man will bring facts when I talk. Truth and rights. And that's why I say I might not get the views that I'm supposed to get, nor the likes I'm supposed to get. Because I'm not a hypocrite. I'm not pretending because they got my teeth out and I'm smiling and I'm just going to do what they tell me to do. When on my platform, I touch his everything and everything no you hear what i told you that they are doing to the copper skin people in ukraine we got ukrainians a bit nuts. not just ukrainians because some of us that has to abort these trains we can't even get on we can't they tell us wait for the next train. And then we wait. And they say wait for the next one. But well, all the Europeans are getting to go. Well, they saying help them, help them. Do something. And everybody says, yes, we got to do something. We got to help these people. But these people within their hearts that asking for help some of them within their own nations are evil because watch what they are doing to the copper skin is, is it the copper skin man who asks put them uh, put them to bomb them no is he that make the oath with the forefathers? No. So, if there is war, and everybody have to clear out, and you say, move out of the way, so we can hold it down. And when you bring the transportation to move the people, now you're picking and choosing. Hmm? 
You are picking and choosing. They could go. You all could go. All of you all go. You all got the skin. Stay here. Gotta wait. Gotta see what we're doing. They are thinking. Who wants us? Hmm? Who wants that, the, the, the copper skin to come in into the country? Who? It's okay. Any European person could go to Poland, wherever they want to go. They could go. Within the neighborhood countries there. They could go. But for the black man, he can't go. They got to find a special place to put him. Oh, send him in harm's way. Make him take the longest route. Where are you going to meet the Germans, uh, um, the, the Russians? And they might bomb them up. Kill them. Why are the Europeans a safe, safe passage? Hmm? That's not right. I want the Re Ukrainian people to know me myself is a copper skin person too. And when Russia did what they did, I didn't like it. And I said, the world should not stand there and let Russia do it. This to your guys. But when I see you are beating my people, when I see what you're doing to my people, when I see how you're kicking down my people for no reason at all, when I see that you allow people to go through the back door, and when they try to go to the back door, just like these European people, you tell them no. And when other countries are accepting European people, and when these people are ready, nobody don't want them. That's not right. Now, that's one story. Let's put a seal on it. Stamp it, let it ride. Moving to a different topic on this platform, on the Red Shot Black Star platform. Serious things. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna like me. You know why? Because I don't bow and I don't kiss butt. So they ain't gonna like me. Mm -hmm. But I will talk. And if you're afraid to talk, Black Star will talk. For you know, people, great, 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 great America. God bless America, right? Big USA. You are doing certain things right now I don't like. Mm -hmm. Mr. America. I'm talking to America. Why is it we want to go beg people for oil? Hmm? Why is it we want to go and beg Venezuela for oil? Did you censure Venezuela? Huh? By the time you censure, you, you put the censure on them, you hold them down. They mash up. So why are you going over there to ask? You're going to ask Russia friend for oil? Hmm? You don't think as soon as you call this guy to say to him, you will like his oil that like you didn't want it to before. Let's keep it real. Don't be a hypocrite. Don't be a hypocrite. America is a great country. And it should stand up great. Always great. It mustn't do things to allow other countries to believe that it's weak. Because other countries will come and they will try. That's like an old lion. I said it before. And a young lion. After a while, the old lion been running around and running stuff. And a lot of the young lions, they are growing strong every day. And they are saying to themselves, listen man, it's coming to the time now. We got to take over. Guy run them out. To America. You'll find nations will rise and they will become mighty and want to take you over. But as it said in the book of Revelation, that you are blessed and mighty. Nothing that comes against you shall prosper. Nothing that comes against America will prosper. Not Russia. 
not um what I call the place there um place with the eye there. But what is the place I mentioned on my earlier? Let's with the oil where America wanna go by oil first. Yes, sir. You watch the light? Yes. Um, uh, people! I just mentioned the place there a while ago. Venezuela, man. Mm -hmm. So, people, 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 people. I want you guys to over the black star. I don't have no PhD. I don't sit in the White House to lead anybody. But one thing my mother taught me, she says, son, you have to have some type of pride. Okay? You mustn't eat your vomit. You mustn't puke and go and lick up the puke. That's nasty. Real nasty. So, America, yes sir, it's a black star. I have no shame. All my children is American, except one. He's a Mexican. I live here, and my children are Americans. And my children are the future for America. Not just my children, but all of the children that's in my children's age, and the babies. And those that are born are America's future. They are America's future. And if America does not show the world that it has dignity and pride, <laughs> it's not going to be a good thing. Now, America should not want to buy oil from anybody that it had a business with before and was buying oil from before and did have a problem with them. Okay? Now, America pride should always be America pride. And America has the capability to actually finance their own oil and have America has the best. Alaska has oil. Mm hmm Antarctica has oil. Mm -hmm. And America produces the best oil from any of these places. Has the best oil. Clean. Okay. Now, we have the cannabis. I said before, cannabis oil is one of the blessed oil on the face of the earth. Now, we're always watching this black gold, and this black gold has done a lot of harm to the earth. Mm -hmm. Ozone layer, our oxygen. Man is on a savage, sa um, barbaric savage, savage act, where man lost his identity, he lost his sense, his humanity. This is just destructive. Very destructive. Man has foreseen what he could do to man and how he's going to do it. Okay? And the only way man will do this thing is to eliminate the things of the Most High. And to eliminate the things of the most high is to change the things that the most high has created and given to his people. He gives them, he give them laws. He gives them commandments. Okay? He gives them these things. He gives them all the nurture that they need. And what they would want in the earth. He give them this the fruit. While scientists right now is trying to repopulate the earth with their own fruits. 
China is the head of that. To come to create and be dominant over all fruits. Now, as a little boy, I watched mangoes grow in the islands. And the only time you had short mangoes is when you graft them. Okay? It was grafted. I never know. Mango trees can look like, they look like it's a lime tree. Stay short. And I see the Chinaman show me some type of mangoes that he, he have a wrap up and it's, the trees are real short like it's a regular, a regular lime tree or something like that. And that has a big mango hanging out of it. And he, he cut that, that mango and that mango is red. I'm yellow. Red white. I'm ready to eat. And they start coming with all different type of creation. Creating kiwi banana. All type of mad stuff that you will never believe. Like we are living in a different planet. We left earth and went somewhere else and we are just in a whole bunch of things that we never seen before. That's man messing with the works of God. Man is creating food that will cause cancer to men. Kill you faster. Men have a reason. Why you don't want other men to live too long? If you live too long, you will have too much people. So they give you a certain amount of time to die so they can make room for the other people to come. You hurt people. That's why when you see a 40 year old, a 50 year old, he looks like this, a hunchback. Mm -hmm. Because the thing that they design for you puts you like that. The thing that they design for you puts you like that. Blessed people, 13 likes. I got 11 people on. Come on, people. I know y'all guys could do better than that because y'all know when I come true, I bring the facts. And I'm not here to keep telling you about what I had. But well, people got to realize, if you had something at one time in your life, and you lost it, or you don't have it anymore, do you ever, or do you ever think, like, rethink yourself, rethought, go back within yourself, and see the reason why you lost what you had. Say you had, you had, you, say you had a hundred billion dollars. You was living a life, and then one day you had, you had real estate, you had houses, you had cars, yachts, all that. Living the life. Let's say you wasn't in corruption. Mm-hmm. Coming out of that. Let's say you were in corruption. Alright? And you've been doing what you're doing for a while. And you're just living the life, you know? And one day all that comes to an end. You probably get busted, whatever, you go to prison, whatever. Did your time. Came home. You ain't got none. You gotta start from scratch. Now, maybe this time, the second round, maybe you get to realize that the first time you had all that money, because of your wickedness and your sin and your abomination, and you never fought that, you was going to get jacked up. You never thought you've been talking down onto people, making them feel like crap. You've been talking down to people because you had all that money. And you had all that flat. You had all that flat. You had all that swerving, you, you all that flat. So you didn't respect people. You was a big man. You believed that you're due to make party. Mm-hmm. 
But God had to jack you up. The most I jacks up everybody. Jacks up me. He jacks up these rich people that have been getting, a, getting, a, getting away with crimes for centuries or whatever. They family. He jacked them up. Mm -hmm. So you get jacked up. And you lost all what you had. And the little time that you had to look it in your sin, your, your, your abomination, your abomination, the time, the little time that you had to sit within yourself and look deep within yourself and think all the foul things that you did, all the wickedness and the path you played into the filth. And the most I allow you to make peace with your spirit, with your soul, and wake you up. Because you admit, you admit, yeah, I did wrong. Yeah, I was into this, I was into that. Most I open your eye. Now your eyes open. He said to you, you is my creation. Walk upright. Walk with faith. Now, you said you make an oath. He said, yes, Lord, yeah, yeah, I will, I will. I will do all of that. If you want to let me come home. If you want to take me out of this distress here. And you came out out of all the stress. But as you are there, you have to have a plan. So yes, seek and you will find. You seek and find of a plan. Maybe now you're not selling drugs anymore. Maybe now you're not scamming anymore. Maybe now you're not tricking anybody anymore because God spoke to you. But we'll stop eating the grace. You start again, you become cocky. Again, as the most high God allow your head to surface and you could breathe in that instant, that split little second, so you already forget. You remember, but you forget. Okay? That during the time you was in the hell, you would say anything. But as you came out the hell pit, and then you go through a little bit of more tribulation and stay with your good ways, and then all of a sudden, as your head gets to surface and you get to breathe, and you're breathing, getting the oxygen, you forget. You forget that you've been there already, and you're gonna still continue your cockiness your disrespectful ways, your attitude, your energy, your trickery, your lies, your, how you boasty about yourself. And you will accumulate the wealth again. Just for lost it again. Mm -hmm. You'll accumulate the wealth again because you still didn't learn anything. That's like some drug dealers. They're selling drugs all their life. Get busted. Went to prison. Came home. Said they stop. They ain't doing it no more. They stayed away from it for four, five years, six years, seven years. But the temptation, the money, the wealth, the grip, you know, you go back to them. This time you die. Because you can't trick God. 
God knows your heart. A lot of people believe that they could trick the most high. You know, they like Cain. They 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 put it, they take it out. Mm -hmm. So that's why the most high God said, change your ways internally. Can't practice the ways of the hog, the swine. Or else you have the attitude. You act like them, walk like them, and talk like them. And you are be just like them. God learn from your mistakes. Some people never have a problem. Like everything going good for them. Because as long as they could smile, hell with everybody else. And that is the same thing that goes down in Ukraine. I never leave the, the, the subject. I goes around it and I bring other examples to y'all. Show y'all the accuracy, facts, the accuracy of the facts about people. So it's the same thing with Ukrainians, just like other people, single people, more people don't know how much. Same thing. Russia go over there, decided to treat them like they were slaves or whatever, when they tell them what to do. And they wasn't going for it. The world said that's wrong. Everybody feels sorry for Ukraine. But again, right in Ukraine, you see Ukrainians, how they treat other life source, other people of color, people of copper skin color. We see how they beat them and smack them and kick them and punch them and stop them. We saw that. So, that racist stuff, that cockiness, it's all over the world. And guess what? There are blacks who beat the Europeans the same way too. There are blacks who knock them up, punch them up, rob them. Mm -hmm. I'm not sitting over here and saying, it's okay for one to do and the other not to do. I am saying that we should respect each other. Okay? Have the love for each other. And if we don't have love for each other, we should just even try to respect each other. Means what you don't like for yourself, you ain't gonna do to So, racism It come like some root of some tree. And you will never get the racism out until you root out all of the racist foundations. Those that have their roots running through the earth with wickedness. Because look at me, I'm in the West. And I'm talking these things about Ukraine. I'm saying that people, nobody should treat nobody like that. Russia should not do that to Ukraine. I watch them not as Caucasian people. I don't watch them. I watch them as people like myself that has life and wants to live. And I don't think no one should oppress anybody because God gave everybody life abundantly. And I don't think no one should tell anyone Especially a person living in their own turf, doing what they want. You could just get up and say, oh, give me your house. That's like some bad man thing, gangster business. See, these guys don't, they say they don't like gangsters. They love gangsters because all of their attitude and their styles is gangsterism. I want something, I just say one day, listen, man, hey, hey, boom, 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 I take it. Uh -huh. The world, the tongue of twist. They're talking with a twist on. Because it's gangsterism. Gangsterism run this. America is a gangster. Russia is a gangster. China is a gangster. North Korea is a gangster. They are all gangsters. And it's one gangster looking to gangster another gangster. That's like gangs on the street. CNT. The leaders of the earth are bad gangsters then. 
There are some countries if they want something they, they don't give up. they don't care they just go over there and take what they want they don't care who say don't go they just go some other countries they have to hesitate they have to make their mind to find out some other countries they tell them don't go they go did they tell um the president our um, um bush do not go and start did he listen he just go anyway he went anyway no matter all the people that do not don't go don't go no no we don't want a war no 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 he went anyway. Right? Bunch of young sir. The leaders of the earth will outdo themselves. Mm -hmm. They're going to outdo themselves because it's a bunch of madness they're running here. Mm hmm. I have sit and watch and learn. Seeing two neighborhood countries that is related going to war for 20 years, Iran and Iraq. And when you looking to see where they are getting arms from, the two powerful countries are, are, are giving them arms. Hmm? You know, Russia has a bad habit. I like to bully people. He tried this stuff with the Afghans. And the Afghans didn't go for it. The Afghans kicked the butt. Mm -hmm. Russia have tactics. And he thinks it is now to move his troops. To make expand. And create back the old USSR. Soviet Union. Yeah. It's about time now to show his gangsterism. Look at China. China is another gangster. Don't you want to go take out some other little islands that's wrong wrong here? He's saying that is his his turf. Don't you over there building extra building stuff on sea water, creating land and creating air base and all that? They want to surround America. All of them don't like America. Hmm? I don't care what they say. No matter what fault America have, America has a lot of things in it that I don't like. But I know God bless it for a reason. Mm -hmm. So I told you, I spoke to the Ukrainians. I sent a message out there to them and let them know. Just like the world don't want to see, don't like what Russia is doing to y'all. It's the same way the copper skin people don't like what y'all are doing to us. Okay? You don't like what Russia wants to do. We don't like it. But we don't like what you're doing to the copper skin, dark skin people, the people that look like bronze, like copper. Mm -hmm. People that look like me. Mm -hmm. I represent me, I represent them. Mm -hmm. So stop the hypocrisy and keep it right and set it right. Stop this nonsense in Ukraine, y'all Ukrainians that already have a problem that you need to work on. If anybody want to fight, let them go and meet the Ukrainian army or the Ukrainian defense force. Go, of the, go over there and sign your name to the Ukrainian uh, army or general, whatever, whoever that allow you to come into the military. Go sign your name here. You're ready to fight. Stop beating up black people. The people that's trying to run to get some safety and find a place just like your guys trying to come out, they trying to come out too. Don't hurt them. Beat them up and cause injury to them. They only try to come out of Ukraine, just like the Ukrainians trying to come out. And for the neighborhood countries that say they have safe passage for them, when you are bringing your trains or whatever you are bringing your bus or whatever you are bringing, allow the copper skin people to come on the buses and do not tell them to wait. Because you know, while you are sending the Europeans all directions, you all could send us too. And some of your countries that are acting like you are confused, that y'all don't know if y'all want us any form of copper skin 
complexions in your country. You don't need to stop the nonsense. Stop the nonsense. You don't need to stop it right now. Stop it. Blacks are still there. Stop it. Because God forbid, if Russia decides to take it all out, which I know that's not going to happen. Why? People say, well, blacks, how do you know that? How do you know America and Russia are not going to fight now? Well, it's simple. The prophecy has not fulfilled. So there's not time for the... Uh, they're going to have a, a third world war, but it's not going to be right now. Why it's not going to be right now? Because my Lord has already um, explained and inspired me of the things that's to be and the things that's to come. One of the things is the Antichrist. He's not sitting and have the religion, the different religion to become as one. All the religions gonna come as one. The Muslims, the Catholic. They, it's gonna be one guy. Uh well, one one antichrist. That antichrist, everybody will serve that antichrist. The churches and everybody. The church not gonna be out there talking against the antichrist. No. When the Antichrist sits upon the throne and he governed over the nations of people, that's when it's going to be New World Order. Okay? That New World Order is not going to happen when America and Russia fight. Huh? Mm -hmm. The Antichrist has to come and make war. So the, for the Antichrist to control New World Order, you have to control everything. So the Antichrist has not sat where he's supposed to sat. And he has not, the, the church, okay, have to come back the way it was, the way it used to be back in the days where the church have all the power. The church will get back the power, but the power that the church will get, it will not be for the church to rule. It will be for the Antichrist to rule. Because the Antichrist is supposed to come as the trying to portray himself as your shower. So you have to come in with royalty and holiness and all of that there. He has to come in. And the church is the one that to help him to come into that form where he's going to start doing healing, healing people with sickness and all type of stuff, cancer, people who have died. He's going to do all what your shower did. He's going to be healing people. Hmm? Now we're going to see our supermarkets will have food. But it's not for anybody to come and buy. Only for those that has the map. Okay? So don't listen to people where they're trying to make you scared, tell you, okay, American Russia will fight, and it's not just American Russia. But there's a lot in the preparing. Because that's part of the Antichrist movement, World War III. That's part of it. Part of the prophecy of revelation and the Antichrist unfolding to have full rulership. So he got to create wars on the ends of the earth. And that's what he's doing right now. He's creating wars and rumors of wars. He's doing a lot of that. So he's busy doing his work, his work right now, putting everything in order. Okay, so the next thing that has to happen before that war is um, where is... Um, the food shortage and um, where people will need things. And for you to get the stuff, just like the ha ha, you see if you want your job, right? If you want to keep your job, right? You have to take that. So it will be the same thing. That's why they're running the little tests right now to see how effective it could be. They're doing all of these little things, right? They're telling you it's permissible. It's that's the law. You have to do this. You have to do that. These are the things that are going to push in you. So all of that is in the coming of the making. And it's here. But right about now, it's going to be, uh, this has to happen first. Russia and America and the countries that have, that become superpowers, because one time was only two. Now, there are over seven, there's more than one than ten of them. Everybody have notes. So, but the real 
people that they are really talking about. It's Mohab, which is China. Mohab. Russia. Okay? America. North Korea. These are the people that they are affiliating. That's going to start the war. And create, destroy three thirds of the earth. Destroy three thirds of the earth. When I mean destroy three thirds of the earth, three thirds of the earth, not the one not able to grow. Cut out the bombs, hydrogen, whatever bomb. Just like they do in Japan, three thirds of the earth will be damaged. We're going to go to war and it's going to win. America going to be the one to hold a new world order. That's what Russia wants. Russia figure it's powerful enough and it's richer than America and it wants to be that. America is not having it. Because they never said in the book of Revelation, God is resurrecting um, a, a, a rising of Russia for judgment. It said it's rising the little horn upon the head of the dragon. That great whore is not in Russia. The great whore is in right in our borderline. No, the harlot. She's right here in this country. Mm -hmm. This country let out a lot, yet still it's the savior for the world, America. So yes, people, y'all know who it is. Real talk when I talk. You see, I'm still eating my parmesan because that's so healthy, man. Remember, good for your arthritis, good for your blood and your heart. When you cut yourself fire, there's a lot, there's a sour shop, there's this here. Parmesan, Parmesan, Parmesan. Look at my thing. So, of course, you are rich. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Look at that. That's a natural color. That the only anti cells one, and blood cells one, a rich color. So, this is what I bring for you all today. That the prejudice against us, the, the copper skin people, is serious. And they really treat us like garbage. I'm about to go outside and make a little video here. I'll make a video. I'm going to do about 100 pull-ups. I just started back doing my pull-ups because last year, I had uh, something was wrong with my back. So I couldn't really with, like, pull up. I was feeling the pain within my joint. So I can't wait to take the most of last year's summer. I didn't do much. So I've been doing the pull-ups and I've been feeling, I don't feel no really massive pain. So yesterday I was doing, uh, pulling from the my neck. So right now I'm about to go outside, shoot uh, a video, and I have to shoot. Pause. I just want to do a hundred, I'm going to do a hundred pull-ups. I ain't got nobody to hold my phone for me. I probably don't go outside with a stand. See what's up so i'm gonna i'm gonna put a name for this live but i just want to come out and make this live because i felt i felt i felt very upset when i watched this young brothers this copper skin brothers right here in U ukraine trying to um do what they, they they tell them to do find a way out a back door and they have to worry about Ukrainians, um, Ukrainians, young men and men beating them up. I can't go. So I send that message out there for the Ukrainians to know that we don't like what Russia is doing to your guys. But also, please, do not hurt my people. Do not hurt my skin color people. My copper skin people. Leave them alone, man. They, they just try to get out of the country. To go somewhere safe. And for the neighborhood countries, do not play, um, what do you call it, tricky games with these people's lives, man. You all tell them, come over there. And when they come over there, you don't want to accept them. You all trying to tell them, go this way. Just listen, man. Show some love. Show a little bit of love, man. A little bit of courtesy, man. At this time, everybody need people, man.
And if y'all could help these people, it doesn't matter if a person's skin, man. It doesn't matter if a person's skin. It doesn't matter if a person's albino. If we had green people, purple people, blue people, whatever the person was, man, as long as they're a human being, they have a spirit and soul. Y'all, y'all need to stop this, man. This we've been doing this for too long now. This this whole no purpose. This whole no purpose. Imagine you dying. Would you not want somebody to help you? Imagine, look, they were bombing your guys, Ukraine, and you're asking for the world to help y'all. You're asking for people to help y'all. And because y'all know it wasn't right, and people know it's not right. But then watch what you're doing to us. Look what your own people, your Ukrainians are doing to the copper skin people. That's not right. So please, once more time, it's a red shot black star. Hope your guys hear my voice. And make that message flow like war, man, to the Ukrainians. And not just the Ukrainians, to the, the, the Poland, um, um, to, to um, um, all these countries that's out there, man. Greenland, all of them. Let, let, let them know. Let my people come in, man, and be people of love, nurture, Y'all, we are one life, the same life, oxygen and the spirit and the soul, man. Let's let's not do this. All right, people? Let's not do this. I'm gonna take questions as I, if I have any. Yeah. I have any questions, bro? Is that out? Bless, bless, bless who? Twin. Bless up, Twin. You love the topic. You see what they're doing to us in Ukraine, man. Man, they're beating us up, man. They're beating us up bad, man. Knocking us up, kicking us, kicking us in the head, punching us down. And I, I'm saying, Twin, this is wrong, man. Because we are here in the West watching this. And we see that unfold in Ukraine. And we're like, yo, that's not right. Russia shouldn't do that. Russia should not do that. And we saying we're waiting for some some other people to help them. And now they turn around, Ukrainians turn around and, 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 and just violating copper skin people. Come on, man. So I have to I have to put it out there. That's why I say I would not get the views. They ain't gonna want to hear me talking because a lot of them are evil and they like stuff like that. Go ahead. JPAC said the world is too evil. It is, man. Very confusing. Man. They're double belly rats, man. Twisted tongues, man. They're like razor blades. Everybody, when something is happening to them, they want the world to see. But we've been trying to make the world see what's happening to us for how long? Over 400 years. And no one wants to look. No one wants to see that people don't like us. The other countries don't like us. They discriminate against us. Everything that goes bad, the copper skin man pay the price, so he get the blame for it. Anything goes down, the, the copper skin man pays the price for it. And we see it out through the history of this colonial system. They, they don't like us. And that's why when I talk, they want to say I'm racist. But who's racist here, man? I got love for you. I'm all the way in the West saying people should back you up. Russia should not do that. That's why I made a song about it. Go and listen to, um, I made a sh uh, this video, I tried to put it on TikTok, I tried to put it on, they cut it, cut it, make it real short. So I finally posted it on the YouTube, show, um, um, you, the regular YouTube where I put my videos on, and I put the whole thing. Go ahead, the whole sound. Now, this song I didn't sit on and write, I didn't take a day to day, I was going to take a shower, and then I saw how to kick the brother up in the face and punch him up, uh, and, and do him all that, and while I was going in the shower, I said, yo, what's up? Let me bust a flow off the head. And that's what I did. And I posted. So I noticed they didn't want it, the whole of it to get to go. Everywhere I posted, they put in a little piece, a little piece. So if y'all want to hear the whole sound, just go and YouTube on my on, on Red Shot Black Star. On that channel right here, you get the whole sound right there. And tell me what y'all think about it. JPAC said, what's up, brother? I need your wisdom. Pop, the big up shaka. Give thanks, my brother. Bless up. I will, anything that I could help you I with, I will, anything that the most I allow me, that I could able to help you with, 
Because I really can't help people. It's just inspiration on the most side. So put it on me. Let me know what, what, what is it that you want to know or what you would like to know or what could I do for you. Irvin Matt said blessings. Happy to be here. Blessing. I appreciate you. Thank you for subscribing and being a subscriber. I hope you guys is a subscriber to my uh, new channel called Red's Bus of Sweat TV. I appreciate you guys. It took him time. I thought it was going to move faster than what I thought, but it's okay. Got like, what, 52 or I think 52 people, 52 subscribers. It's going to grow. I'm not rushing. I'm not rushing. I don't care. I don't care if I don't get, I don't care when I come outside, bro, and I, and people don't want to subscribe and people don't want to share. But they're going to do that to figure that, yo, let's break the rest. Let's break red. But y'all can't break me because guess what? I don't get the likes, but I know y'all hate me. Because how I know? I see a lot of y'all implementing what I say. I see a lot of young brothers, rap artists, young brothers, going in certain communities and, and, and doing things for the community, activities and stuff for the kids, for the children. I see other brothers. I was watching this one brother. He start going uh, to the old people, old people that cannot really handle the lawn and the yard work. And he volunteer. He has a weed walker. He can go clean the yard for them for free. That bless this brother. A lot of brothers are creating, doing a lot of stuff to help, to give back. So I, they hate me. No one. I don't get where people come and say, yeah, give that brother some love. Give that brother some love. I don't really get that, you know? But even though I don't really get that, but I know even people don't want to admit to what I'm doing, I know I'm doing something positive because I could see. Because majority of the times before, I never used to hear that, hey, brother, talking about the money and da 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 And look, look how long I've been throwing this message out. So of course, people are coming to the community, doing things in the community. Before it was brothers like uh, Mike Tyson, and one, two brothers would do a give back to the community. Not much of us. But since I've been coming out and really talking about it, because, you know, like I said, I, that's why I want to create another channel. I'm not going to talk about it, but I want to create another channel because this channel is about something else. Okay? Yeah. We go. I may not have the equipment and have the money to buy the equipment and have a lot of knowledge upon how to make, but I think I give God thanks to the little knowledge that I got and the help that I get from my wife, yeah, and, and my son, and I, I very appreciate that, so maybe my videos, when I, I, I do them, maybe I don't know certain things. Hey, Mr. Maurice. Oh, bless, bless, Mr. Maurice. How are you doing, sir? No, oh, look at that great brother of mine, this brother right here. So, um... I'm still trying and I'm not sitting there complaining, complaining. You know, there's a lot that I want to do, but you know, my ability, I have the ability, but the collateral for me is that. And I just have to take one day at a time. I just got to take one day at a time. So I work with what I have, but I know this. I know by the grace of God, by the mercy and the power that invested in me by my creator, what I'm doing, I know it's good. Because one will not want to tell me, yo, but they're learning and they're seeing it. I see people want to work with children now. Most of them, these guys never want to work with children. They were just thinking about themselves and about women. If I look good and I have a good body, I could get this girl, that girl. My thing was always good over evil. My thing was always, you know, inspiring the young child, the young boy, the young girl. And all from, since I started all my videos, you always see either my daughter or somebody's child, somebody, little children, always cleave on to me. I didn't just start doing it. it. I've been doing it. Ladies, I've been having the ladies and, and showing them the workouts with the, with the soccer balls, with the, with, with the um, squats, with the resistance bands. You know, I have shown a lot and proof to the people. If you go back to my videos and see certain people that I work with, I've shown a lot and teach a lot. I've shared a lot. And even though 
like I said, they might not want to, you know, really give me when I put my video out. I ain't going to, I got, like I said, 4,000, 4,000, whatever, 44,000 people, but then it, it, it's a problem. And I'm not even feeding off of that because like the same brother that's on the, 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 um, um, off my page, hey, Mr. Maurice, he been told me, he said, Red, do not watch your views, nor your subscribers. If you're watching that, hmm, you're going to have problems every day. Because the thing about it, you want to make money. Everybody wants to have a YouTube channel so they can make money. Working at home, new style of working, new technology. Okay, I could do that and get some people lucky. Some people just have the skills like that. And then they put out as a wrap. But let's take a look of what they put now. What is the message? Sometimes the video is just a video, but it it, 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 it what's what's the definition? What's what's the message? As the message is to awaken people up, make make people better, better people. As the message is to a person that was going through certain problems, that message that you sent out there, just awaken them up. A person was going through stress, you know, anxiety, whatever they're going through, and they've been taking medication for years and that was that have not been working for them. But here they meet a person that could break down things to them, that went through what they went through and able to relate to them. And the whole thing about this is not prescription, it's not medication, but it's to check, make yourself, look within and pull the better, the better person of you out. So yeah, I think I have, by the mercy of God, show a lot. The most I has allowed me to come forth and bring this message forward. And there are people from all over the world who tells me I read comments that the Lord has allowed me to make a difference in their life. And I didn't even give them medication. I didn't give them nothing. They just listen and they implement what I said. And the life changed. People that never wanted to work out or working out. People that had certain problems. They don't have a problem. You know? So, one thing about the Most High God is His blessings is tremendous. It's a whole lot. But you can't watch nothing. There is nothing that the Most High God cannot do. Because when, when you get your blessings, man, your blessings shine. You you you, you come like the, your star. You shine and you dazzling. So sometimes people get what they gotta get. Only what you could do to this. And to praise the Lord for them. Never hate on no one. Mm. I vend, I sell oils and incense. And um, yeah, I sell oils, all different incense. I ship incense too, and oils and fragrances and all that, charcoal and all that. And I, I sometimes when I go to sell, before in the business when I go to sell, I establish my business. I'll come out there and, uh, and I'll say to myself, why nobody ain't buying nothing? But you see, sometimes your eyes could deceive you because when you, you can't see your progress. But when you're humble and you give thanks to your creator, sometimes I push mine in my pocket and I don't even know I done make $300 already. But I'm over here saying, well, it's a dead day to day and not even knowing my Lord has blessed me. So you don't complain. You don't complain. I mean, people do dirty things to us, like the YouTube people and all of that. They, they're doing their work too. They're part of the nonsense too they with the work. But um, sometimes, again, you can't afford to deal with these people's equipments and deal with their the, the stuff and figure if you want to speak what is true, that they're going to... They, they, they're here to do one thing, is to send a message and not a positive message. So brothers like me who want to send positive message, we are problems for the people that want to send the negative because we are telling tell the people, listen, get out of that. Stop doing that. Okay? You know why I start working out, right? People tell me, why don't you go to the park, bro? You don't have to work out right there. But I say, yeah, I know, but I work out here for a reason. I work out where people pass so they could see what I'm doing. I could go to the park. I could go to the park where they make for you to work out. 
But I'm not rich enough out in the park. Because most people don't want to park past where the park is. Because they don't like to see what's happening over there. That hurts their arm, their back, their leg. So they don't want to see that. So you got to bring it to them. So I start doing it anyway. I do it on the street corner. I do it in the street. I do it on the sidewalk. I do it. I do it. And let them see. So now I got a lot of brothers. Now, all the brothers. Like in the 50s and 60s. And they say, man, one time, man, I used to be able to do this. And I say, what do you mean you used to be able to do? And they say, but I had this. And I say, but bro, listen, I have injuries too. Sometimes. Sometimes when I'm hearing day injury, sometimes when I'm hearing day injury, I'm, and I'm comparing it to my injury, and I'm saying, yo, bro, what you have there is a baby thing. What you got is a baby, man. I, I, I was not supposed to walk, bro. That's why all them push-ups and stuff I'm doing. None of them brothers don't have injuries like me. Nobody push them off a no building. No two cars and hit them. I just had another car accident, 2019. Hmm? The end of 2019. Hmm? They ain't got no injuries. These are young brothers. Their bones are good, flexible, and all that. They ain't got no injuries. If they have any injuries, what they do to themselves? Like, straining themselves with weight. Yeah? I saw on the Facebook, the guy tried to um, pump some um, weight here, and he almost killed himself. The stuff was strangling him. He did like five and. He, he had nobody to spot him. He almost broke his neck. So, like I said, I'm a slim person. I don't, I don't like big. If big is going good for you, go for big. You could even blow like the World Trade Center if you want. That's on you. If you want, if you want to blow like Gilbert. Blow like Gilbert. Whatever you want. That's you. You want your arms to look like a tie, or you want it to look like uh, whatever. I don't care. That fits you. Good. But. Never believe because your body big, your muscle big, your biceps big, your chest is big. That really make you to be a superhero. The people with big biceps, they get knocked out by some little people at you wonder. I was watching Anderson here fight this guy that has so much muscle. And Anderson just kept on kicking him on his knees and his his his, his thighs and his his his, his um calves. Yeah, after a while he started leaning. His foot couldn't keep that big body up no more. Because they take they take away his legs. Uh, like I said, a lot of brothers now, they just believe if I get big like a house, then I could just pick you up and throw you down. You know, I was watching this other thing too. You know, I touch every little base of everything. A lot of people say they do martial arts and they could do Tai Chi and they could do this, that, and the other. And they go and say they are black belts and yellow um red belts and all this type of belts. You, you hear this? That's my neighbor. Nobody's making noise upstairs. Nobody's running here. Children, everybody's sleeping. But listen to this. I'm making a lie. And, and you hear that banging now. There's nobody down here fixing anything. There's nobody there. But my children ain't running. Nobody running. No one is running. Quiet as a mouse. But listen to this banging here. Uh -huh. Quiet as a mouse. Nobody running, nobody banging, nobody doing nothing. My son fall asleep. My two daughters fall asleep. And it's just me having a lie. But all of a sudden, boom, 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 banging all over. These people tell you that you are antagonizing them, that you're a troublemaker, that you're creating trouble. But what is this banging? What are you, are you trying, to, trying to tell me stop talking in my own place? So these are all the evidence and things that people do to people and, and for, for, for no reason at all, they does the stupid stuff. And the entire world, yeah, listen to this. You hear this? You hear that? You hear this? You hear this? 
So in life, sometimes I tell you, people, they have some people, they are corrupt and they are evil. And they will always do what they do. Okay? So that's the whole thing. It, it's just love. Good over evil. Evil will never, ever. Sometimes you see you get into trouble. You know you get into trouble. You allow evil to draw you out. That's how they get you. To pull you out. They always try something. There are some people, nothing going on for them. Nothing good. Nothing in their life is going on for them. But if they see you doing something, they will spend money where they don't have to stop you. They will pay people to hurt you. But nothing going on for them. Nothing. But they hate you without a cause. They do things to torment you. To draw you out, pull you out. Pull you out of your shell. So you could end up in prison. You could end up behind bars. Sometimes they hate you so much, your lifestyle. You, God bless you. You ever have. You don't walk and beg. You know? You don't walk and beg. You don't say, oh, let me hold $2. I'll give it to you tomorrow or day after. You don't go to nobody's house and knock the door and ask them, do you have something to eat? I have not eaten. You hold it up as a, as a king or as a queen. Your children don't go around begging for food and looking hungry. You handle your business. You take care of yours. You clean your home. You mop. You keep your house clean. These are people that don't mingle with other people. That are not troublemakers. They, they, they are different. These people, they got good aura. When you see them, they say good morning. They say good evening. They say these things. That's what they do. Okay? But if you don't have no... Look, look. If you don't have no etiquette... But you see, they don't have no sense because I am I here making a live. And this is proof. When I go to the management to allow them to hear, because I would ask them if they had anybody fixing anything down there. And I'm about to go and ask. Because if they don't have anybody fixing down there and they are beating upstairs like that, that is provoke. You are provoking me. You hear this? Yeah? In here is my things, people. So, like I said, I will go down there. How long I have here? One hour? Yes, people. I appreciate your guys and I could be able to relate with your guys with real talk within we as a people, the way we deal with each other. And that's why the nations of the earth treat us the way they treat us. Until that day that we are a, a color of a man's skin. Holds no significance. Okay? We ain't gonna be able to move up. See? So peace and blessings and one love. I'm out. Let me go to the um, I'm going to the office to find out if anybody's working this in this apartment. Yes, I give thanks, Obitaba. Peace and blessings. Yeah, I'm going down there to find out.